Hi, this is Mike, WB4HUC, and I'm going to demonstrate a feature of the K4 in combination with the KET500 tuner that I really like. Um, you can actually set up the tuner so that later, as you're tuning across different bands and different frequencies, the tuner will actually adjust itself um, without putting any RF on the air. So, um, what happens is you have to initially go through and manually initiate tuning solutions in the tuner on every band, um, from, for me, from the bottom of the band up to the top of the band, I will make a, uh, I will initiate a tuning cycle in the tuner about every 50 kilohertz. And then later, as you're tuning across the, uh, that band, whenever you tune across a frequency that you've previously stored one of these tuning solutions, it'll be recalled from the tuner and applied to the circuits without having to put any RF on the air. So basically, you've stored a bunch of stuff in memory, and as you tune around the different bands, different frequencies, as you run across one that's previously been stored, the tuner will automatically recall that out of the memory and apply it to the tuner, and you're done. It's very quick, it's very fast, it's, re it's been reliable for me. But you need one uh, piece of, uh, one accessory to make this work. And Elecraft uh, will sell it to you. It's a cable uh, that has two 15-pin connectors, one on each end. And one of those connectors plugs into the back of the K4. I believe this will also work for the K3, the K3S. So one end plugs into the back of the radio, the other end plugs into the back of the tuner. And that enables a path of communication between the radio and the tuner that isn't a serial communication across the serial port. And that also includes the ability to inhibit the amplifier keying line. If the tuner sees something it doesn't like, it can disable the keying line of the amp to protect the amplifier from keying up under those bad conditions. So to do that, you would need two of these cables. So you run one cable from the radio to the tuner, and then run the other cable from the tuner to the amplifier. So there are two of these connectors on the back of the tuner, one coming in from the radio, one going out to the amplifier. And then this allows the radio to talk to the tuner and the amp, and it allows the amp and the tuner to talk to the radio. So let's demonstrate this. I've already done these manual tuning cycles for all the bands and the frequencies within the band that I want to use my antenna on. So we'll start here on 80 meters. I have a ZS6BKW antenna that really isn't designed to work on 80 meters, but using a wide range tuner, um, it does work. Obviously it's not optimum and it would be better to have a, an actual antenna meant to be used on this band, but it's the only HF antenna I have right now, so I'd make it work. So I'm going to hush, and uh, I'm just going to tune the VFO knob, and you should be able to hear the tuner clicking as I run across these, uh, these uh, tuning solutions that have already been found and, and sent to the tuner's memories. So about every 50 kilohertz and we can test this try to find an empty spot here according to the pan adapter and I have the amplifier in operate mode so we're in operate mode and I'm just going to send out a short little watch the uh, SWR meter so we've got full output from the amplifier with an SWR, a matched SWR of about 1.23 to 1. Now if I put the amplifier in standby mode and I bypass the tuner, here's the, what I call the native SWR of the antenna on this band. So it's about 3 to 1. 
and you don't want to run it that way. So put the tuner back in line and put the amplifier back to operate mode. And we're back where we were. And I can go from here to the top of the band. And end up with a decent SWR. Or I can roll it all the way down to the bottom. So I didn't have to do anything. The tuner obviously had those uh, settings stored in memories already, so it just recalled them from memory, applied them to the tune, applied them to the tuner circuits without me having to do anything. And when I change bands, and I can actually change bands from the amplifier. So, for instance, if I go to thirty meters. and find an empty spot let's say and you heard the tuner click i hope and you saw the power on the radio change to five watts with the uh, amplifier in operate mode if i put the amplifier in standby mode you'll see the power jumps to 20 watts but let's go back to operate mode Whoops. There we go. Go back to operate mode. And we got about 75 watts out with an SWR of 1.24 to 1. 30 meters is busy. So if I put again the amplifier in standby mode, put the tuner in bypass mode. We've got about a 6 to 1 SWR. Of course, you wouldn't operate that way. And again, it would be better if I had an antenna cut for this band, but I don't, so I use what I got. And it works. Um, and there's another thing, too. So if we put the amplifier back in operate mode, so you saw the... Uh, so the fault light is on on the tuner and you see we're only putting out about two watts well the tuner has interrupted the keying line of the amp so we're not keying the amplifier the tuner detected there was a problem he interrupted that keying circuit and so the amplifier is still in operate mode but didn't doing anything because the key keying line the rca cable keying line has been interrupted so to fix that we can just go back to manual mode and the first couple of dits uh the keying line will probably still be interrupted but then the tuner will figure out that the swr is okay it'll re-enable the keying line and you'll see the output power go up so let's just try this again so the first couple of times uh, the keying line was still interrupted. Then in, I don't know if you heard the click. It's a very faint click as the relay uh, re-enabled the keying line, and now we're back up to our normal power. So that's about it. I want to keep this short, but this is a very handy feature that uh, is documented, well documented in the Yellowcraft uh, manuals and things. But I haven't seen a lot about it, out, you know, on YouTube or anywhere else. So I thought I would just sort of dig into this a little bit and demonstrate it uh, to show that it really does work and for me it's very handy I can go to any band uh, that my antenna is used on and the tuner will understand what frequency we've gone to and what band we've gone to uh, by, virtual, by virtue of that cable connection between the, the radio and the tuner and will adjust itself uh, and I don't have to do anything so the time-consuming part is that initial uh, setting, uh, initiating of the tuning cycles on every band up and down, uh, you know, until you get all the bands that you're going to use the antenna on. That, that takes a while, but once you get that done, 
everything's in the memories and from then on the tuner will do everything for you plus it'll remember different uh, antennas settings and memories for different antennas I only have one antenna uh, connected right now um, and then again you saw that if the tuner sees something it doesn't like uh, it'll interrupt the keying line to the amp and protect the amp this 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 is neat stuff. This is uh, Elecraft calls the KPA five hundred and the KT five hundred the power combo, and and they say that when you have these two along again with those two fifteen pin cables to connect all three pieces together, it's just like having a five hundred watt transceiver. And honestly, for the most part, that's true. I don't really think about this too much when I change bands. Both the amp and the tuner know that I've changed bands. Um, the tuner will recall the appropriate settings from the memories and apply them to the tuner without me having to put any RF on the air. Uh, I don't, I don't think about it. And I believe this also works with the KPA 1500. The tuner is built into the amplifier in that, in that case, but I think it'll operate pretty much the same way. So the, uh, Elecraft folks, the engineers and designers, uh, thought this out pretty well. And it, it's just a handy thing to have. So anyway, I just wanted to show uh, kind of how it works. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.